What's up, Conquer community? Coach Chris here with this week's Technique Tuesday. This week, I'm going to be breaking down the burpee box jump over, and really, we're going to talk through ways that you can be a more be more efficient with it. Um, we're going to break down the approach to the box. We're going to talk about what to do um, on top of the box, and then how to come off the box as efficiently as you can. So we have Conquer athlete Emma here, and she's going through this as I told her to do it. So she's going to start off, and you'll see in a moment. Uh, when she hits the ground, she's going to step to the box. So I'm going to hit play. She stepped towards the box before she goes into her jump. Now, I'm not going to necessarily recommend this for everyone up front for every workout. That strategy is going to be best suited for uh, a longer, more taxing workout where, you know, the, the slight loss in time um, from doing that as opposed to jumping to the box um, it's going to conserve energy and, and keep us going at a, a very sustainable rate. Now, as she jumps on the box, one thing you'll know, and I'll rewind that, is both two things. She stays low and she turns as she lands on the box. Now, she stays low because standing up is going to cost her energy and time. And she turns so that now as she continues off the box, she keeps turning. And now she's in a really good place to go into her next burpee. If she were to keep facing the same way that she started, she would have to take a lot of time to turn around to then go through her next burpee. So I'm going to keep playing, let you guys watch a couple. So she does a really good job, steps two, jumps up, jumps down. Now in a moment, and I'll pause it right before that moment, I'm going to ask her to switch up. But before we kind of talk about that, uh, you'll notice she's been jumping off the box every time. That's a great strategy. If we can sustain that for a long period of time, that's excellent. But realize that jumping off is going to take a lot more energy than if we were to step off. So this next approach or strategy, stepping off, that's going to be best suited for someone who, again, just can't tolerate all the stress of repeatedly jumping off landing um, from the box. It's a lot of energy to do that. And again, depending on your fitness level, and the length of the workout, et cetera, um, it's going to make one of these two strategies more appealing. The step off for those of us um, that might not be able to sustain all that downward force over and over and over again. So I had Emma do that, and she does it very well. And now the last point I want to make, because we've kind of covered each phase of the box jump, um, is breathing. Th these activities, these movements are, are heart rate drivers. They are going to Shoot your heart rate through the moon. So we have to keep breathing. We cannot hold our breath. That's going to only um, exacerbate uh, you know, the effects of this workout on our heart rate. It's only going to continue to drive it upward. So we have to find rhythm in our breath at the bottom of the burpee or on top of the box. Whatever it is, find rhythm so that, again, we're not hurting ourselves and we can make this as, again, sustainable as we can make it. Um, but those are all the tips I have. It's simple, but different strategies different ways in which you guys can approach a burpee box jump over. Um, if you guys have questions, reach out. Um, otherwise, I look forward to talking to you all again soon.